hey, she's like mysterious. She's got it going on. She's sexy. Okay, girls. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing a first impressions demo review three looks of the new Melt Cosmetics Mary Jane palette. Now you guys know I love Melt Cosmetics and you know summer was like cool tone city. So this palette is a little late to the game, but we'll get into that in the video. If this is your first time watching my videos, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. I do upload videos twice a week and it's mostly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you wanna see the three looks that I created with this palette, as well as swatches and my final thoughts, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right guys, my base is done and I am ready to get into these eyeshadows. Now let me start by saying this. This eyeshadow palette was not on my radar. This is the Melt Cosmetics Mary Jane palette. I saw pictures, I saw when they announced it, I saw, a, I don't even know if I saw like an actual picture of the palette. I just saw coming soon, I saw pictures of people and I was just like, oh, okay Melt, whatever. First of all, this packaging is absolutely beautiful. Of course, it's another smoke related. I don't know what their deal is with good old marijuana, but yeah, this is the packaging. And then when you open the palette, I died. The only thing that it's, I mean, it's not as warm as the Supreme Nudes palette, but I was like, y'all, this is so pretty. And all of the cool tones, like maybe they're a little late to the bandwagon, late to the party with the cool tone trend that happened this summer. But I don't know. I just, I saw these, which are kind of like a greenish color. And I was like, yup, I like. And then the rest of them, I was just like, cool tone heaven. And I know I love this formula. So it wasn't a matter of should I, it was when. And with the Sephora sale happening, in the cart y'all know in the cart so i'm gonna do three looks the first one i'm gonna do is just gonna be a cute little neutral natural beat to show you how wearable this is for every day but then y'all know i'm getting into these colors this palette i did not tell y'all any details your girl is too excited let me tell y'all about this palette there are 10 shades am i counting right three six not yet yeah. 10 shades and it retails for $58. So she's a little expensive, but I mean, that's Melt Cosmetics. Like we know that's the deal with their eyeshadows. So that's why I grabbed it while it was on sale. I am going to put a little powder under my eyes and I'm gonna move closer and then we'll start. I'm gonna do three looks for you guys. Three, let's zoom in. I'm gonna start with the shade Mary right here and I'm gonna put that in the crease. I do right now just have concealer on my eyelids, but when we get into the serious colors, I'm going to use my, either my P. Louise makeup base or that CoverGirl eyeshadow primer that I told you guys I liked. This formula is amazing. This is a nice little wash of color, actually more color payoff than I thought. I'm going to go in with Rubia next, and I'm going to also put that in the crease. So you gotta be careful with these shadows because this is showing up a lot darker than I thought it would. And I'm barely dipping my brush in. Just look at that blend, like this is so easy. When eyeshadows do the work for you, that's how you know they're worth it. Only thing I will say, because I was thinking that I wanted to do just a quick little light beat. Maybe I can. I wish they had a lighter matte because I feel like Mary is pretty much going to be my skin tone. Let me carve out my lid just a little bit to give me a lighter, a little bit of a lighter base. And then I'm going to go back and put Mary on the lid and that's going to be it for this look. Something simple, something easy. 
I wanted to keep this look all matte. It's packing on nicely and I like that it's just like very simple but still give some definition to the eye to look like you tried a little bit. And what I'm going to do to help give it a little more oomph, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to take a little bit of Sin Samilla. Y'all don't know nothing about no kind of marijuana strands or nothing like that. If that's what that is, I don't even know. And I don't want to sound crazy. But yeah, I just want to darken up my outer V a little bit and run this a little more in the crease to darken it. Just blending it onto the lid a little bit. And that's a look, honey. I'm gonna blow out the edges with Mary just a little bit to help soften. I did not need this powder on my eyes. I don't have any fallout, nothing. But that's it with this look. This is all we're doing, just a very simple, easy look how the colors blended together i mean you're not gonna spend 58 dollars for a palette and do something like this but i just want to show you guys the versatility of it because we already know how i am with my shimmers and not everybody likes that so this is the first matte look that i came up with unless you decide to do the reverse and do like a dark smoky brown eye and then blend your way out with these shades or maybe even with this shade on the lid. This is about as neutral, all matte of a look as you're gonna get. But I'm gonna finish up the rest of my eyes and let you see the end of look one. All right guys, so this is it for look one. Of course I wanted to do lashes and liner and all that, but it is really hard to get that off and not mess up the rest of my face and then do other looks. So first look, very natural, just a slight little smoky color on the lid. I did decide to line my lid just a little bit with the Sinsamilla color and yeah. So that's what we are working with for the first look. I think this is really pretty. It looks like you tried, little bit of definition, but nothing too crazy. So if you like matte natural looks, a little bit of smoky, here you go. This is the palette for you. I'm going to take this off. And we're going to move into the next look. All right, we are back for look number two. And this one, we are going to focus on these greens. So we're going to stay on this end of the palette right here. Probably going to use this just to help deepen it a little bit. But y'all know how I am about my greens. And this is probably one of the things I was most excited about. So we're going to start with Gaspar. And I'm just using my color switch to brush off the eyeshadow from the last time. So we're going to start with Gaspar. I put my NARS eyeshadow base on this time and I did not set it. So I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but I wanted to make sure these colors pop and don't blend away to nothing, which I mean, that never happens with this brand. Come on now, but you know, I don't always set it anyway, so it's fine. This color is building up a lot darker than I thought it would. I feel like that tends to be the norm with their shadows though. So you can definitely build them up. Let's see if I can blend out a little bit with the same shade and just keep it lighter. Yeah, it's definitely sticking to the base, but just barely tapping in and going around the edge is helping me to get a lighter transition shade. So it looks like two different colors, but it's actually just the one. That looks so gray. That does not look green at all. Like this is what it looks like on my finger. To me, that looks a lot more green than it's coming off on my eye. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but okay. 
I do feel like when I first put it down, it looks green. But then the more I blend and add, it looks more gray. But maybe with just like a greenish undertone. And to blend this out, I could go back and use Rubia or Mary. But like I said, I want to stay on this side of the palette. So it probably would have blended out even better had I set my lid, but I didn't want to. So this is where we are with this. I am going to do a more defined cut crease on this one because that Mary Jane shade is gorgeous and I have to see what it looks like so we're just gonna cut my crease a little bit all right so we didn't do a lot on the cut crease just enough because i want to make sure even though i think it will that this mary jane shade right here pops look at that green it's almost like a green silver so we're gonna start with that on the inner third and this is very flaky that is not going to come off. Let's try the finger. I probably should have swatched these first. But that is pretty. So there you see that shade. Very pretty, but definitely a topper shade. So you have to use your finger or maybe wet your brush. I haven't tried to wet my brush. I just prefer to go in with my finger. And then I'll use the brush to get a more precise application. But I am seeing some fallout with this one. We'll clean all that up after. And then I'm going to take Sweet Lucy, which is the darker olive shade here. And I'm going to put that on the outer middle and outer third. This one is also like when you dip in these, I am literally making a dent. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm dipping in it with my brush. So again with my finger. It's a gorgeous shade. But it's just I wonder if I should have used a glitter glue. Because I don't know if this is going to fall. If I was keeping this on and not doing another look after. Like is this going to stay on my lid? Or is it going to fall on my face throughout the day? And I'm trying to like pat and blend these in. Yeah, I see we're getting a lot of fallout with that one. I'm going to go back in with the lighter shade Mary Jane. And I am going to wet my brush just to see if I can build that up. These shades are super flaky. I did not expect that. And I honestly am not sure how I feel about it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not bringing this palette back. That is not what I'm saying. I just, I thought it was going to be different. Because I did not swatch them in the store. I did not ask anybody to swatch them. I literally saw it and was like, I want this. But this is like super chunky. Oh, might be too late, but I'm going to add a little bit more powder. And then I'm just going to darken up my outer V. Instead of going in with that darker shade, Sin Samilla. Y'all, tell me if I'm saying that right, if y'all know. I have no idea. I'm going to stick with Gaspar and see if I can, how much I can darken that. See, now it looks more green. When you pack it on, but just shearing it out, it does not look that green. That is pretty. So shearing it out makes it look a little more gray. Packing it on makes it look the shade that it is. So we're going to stop there with this one. I'm going to try to clean up this fallout without messing up my face. And then I'll be back with the final look. All right, guys. So this is it for the second look. I will come in a little closer so you can see my wings decided to take a trip they had a mind of their own so please excuse how thick those are it was a mess but honestly 
If it wasn't for the fact that these shades were green, I don't know that I would reach for them that much just because I'm not really into like super chunky glittery shades. But I will say that using my finger and kind of pressing them in and spreading it made it look a little smoother. I did have some fallout with them and I did not use a glitter glue. So that also probably makes a difference. I didn't do my bottom lash line and all that because I don't see how people do all that doing three looks and four looks in one video. But I probably would have just smoked out Sensamilla at the bottom with Gaspar and then put some mascara on. So this is it for the second look. I love these shades. I love these colors. So it makes me want to dive into it a little more, even though I'm not that fond of glittery formulas like that. And that's just me. This is like super special occasion. I would not wear this just for every day. So we're going to go into more of the center shades and I'm going to take this off and we'll finish up with the last look. All right. Third look we're going to do is going to be a smoky glam look. We are going to stay primarily with these three shades here in the middle. I feel like let's swatch them because these look very, they look similar, but there's a slightly different undertone. There's Bamba and Santa Maria. This is Bamba. This is Santa Maria. So they're very similar. Very similar. Like, why would you put those shades? This is Bamba. This is Santa Maria. You only have 10 shades. Why would you make them look so similar? But yeah, we are going to do a very smoky eye. I don't do these often, but I feel like let's finish strong and go big. So I'm going to start with Rubia just to have a little bit more of a lighter transition shade. And again, I used my NARS eyeshadow base and I did not set it. I just realized this palette is kind of giving me Natasha Denona glam vibes a little bit, which might be why I was so excited about it. Because everybody, if y'all don't know, I love that palette. I also will say that I think them coming out with this palette is a very good addition to the others that they have because the other ones are a lot more either cool toned or they're all like rust, like very warm. They had um, 27, they had Gemini, they had, what was the other one? Smoke Sessions. And they were all like either greens and browns or they were rust and brown and gold. So next on the lid, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Sensamilla and I'm going to just lightly pat that on the lid and it is going to be very dark. We're going to start on the outer part. No fallout so far, so that's good. I love that this color is staying true to being a brown, but it still has a lot of depth to it. Then we're just going to go back with Rubia and buff around the edges. And now it is time for the glam. So we're going to take Santa Maria and we're just going to pack this. Oh, I think this is going to fall on my face on the lid. That is so pretty. Very smoky. I think the difference, this color has a little more payoff and a little more body and a little more glitter than the other one does. The other one is just more of, it's still a glitter, but it's more of a sheen. This just packs a little more sparkle to it. 
And then I'm going to take Cali just because I feel like I've used almost every shade in here except for this one and this one. These are the only two, sorry, this one, which is called Bow and Bomba that we're not using. I'm going to take Cali and I'm going to put that on the inner corner, which I feel like is going to be, yeah, she's another glitter. I wonder if their other palettes were like this because I don't have any of the other big palettes that I named earlier and I wonder if there were as many glitters and stuff in there as this one. Let me wet my brush. I just wanted to see how this color was going to look on top of the other but I feel like Santa Maria is just holding its own. We want to be bold and dark and glittery and we don't care what you put. We're not going anywhere. I'm just going to take Sin Samilla and a little bit of Santa Maria and really smoke this out. You know what, since I said I didn't use it, let's go ahead and take Bamba, Bombo, whatever the shade name is, and we're going to put that on the bottom lash line to tie into our inner corner. I'm sorry if I've been out of frame this whole time. I always get nervous on my inner corner and my bottom lash line because I get crap on my contacts. Ooh, that's smoky. All right, I'm finally going to put on lashes. I'm going to put on bottom mascara and I'm going to finish up and then I'll do swatches for you guys and give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, this is it for the final look. Added lashes since we don't have to take anything off anymore. And as you can see, this is so smoky, so glittery. It's just everything blended so well together. I absolutely love how this turned out. I don't normally do eyes this dark, but it's just like, hey, she's like mysterious. She's got it going on. She's sexy. Okay, girl. So I love how this turned out. As far as this palette goes, here's the thing. For a makeup enthusiast who has a lot of eyeshadow palettes, this color story speaks to me because of how dark it is. I don't like having eyeshadow palettes that are like super light and I can't use all the shades. I do wish that there was one cream shade a little lighter. Like they didn't have to do these two shades as similar as they are. So they could have done one a little lighter cream shade. And I think that would have helped with the first look that I did. But other than that, I'm not a huge fan of these super glittery, flaky shades. But I also didn't really wet my brush applying them. I just used my fingers, so that might make a difference. I think the packaging is gorgeous. I love the palette. I am going to keep it. I love this formula. That's what does it for me. I don't think that this palette is the color story is anything revolutionary. But Melt Cosmetics formula and the fact that they don't have anything like this makes it a good palette for them to have come out with right now. I'm going to go ahead and do swatches for you guys real quick, just so you can see everything. So this is Mary Jane. This is Gaspar. This is Sweet Lucy. And then this is Bamba. So those are those shades right there. All gorgeous shades. I don't... I feel like I don't remember using Sweet Lucy. Did I use that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember <laughs> on the green look. So those are those shades right there. We'll get into the next four. This is Sin Samilla, which is the darkest shade in the palette. This is Santa Maria, which you know I love. This is Rubia, which you saw in the lighter shade that I did at first. And then this last one I didn't use, but this is Bow. So those are those four shades. Why well, I feel like I'm missing one. I don't know what the hell I just did. I guess I swatched over it. That's Rubia there. Sorry. Ooh, I suck at swatches. There you go. 
right here, Sensamilla, Santa Maria, Rubia, and Bo. And then last we have Mary and Callie. So that is Callie, that is Mary. So that is it. I love the palette. If you're into neutrals, if you're into cool tones, if you're into Melt Cosmetics, yes, 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 all of it. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you think about the looks. Are you going to be picking this up? Do you think it's worth the money? Or do you feel like you already have enough cool tone palettes and you don't need it? I'd love to hear from you. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button, join the family, stick around, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.